These are instructions for making a field guide to our cube. After you have worked out with me the specific animal that you are going to be starting with, in this case, in this example, it's the Jerusalem cricket in this picture, you're going to get an index card and you are going to write the name of the animal at the top of the page, your name on the bottom of the card, and include these details. So I'm gonna walk through that step-by-step step with you right now. You will make more than one picture. So don't feel bad if the first one that you get is not your first choice. Just know that you'll get to do several different ones. So you've got your animal from our cube photos. Then you're going to find the white binder that looks, this is what it looks like on the inside. It says ID, which means identify. You're gonna use the materials in there to identify this species. I will give you several choices of what it is, or I may just tell you this is what it is. And then you will open up in the book and use the various resources that we have to learn a little bit about your creature. This is the book for things with feathers, our birds, and it shows the dove. This is a dove here and a couple of different pictures. This is another resource that we have um, called an identification key for birds. This is things with fur. Um, there's pictures of several different kinds of um, squirrel. This is the western gray squirrel that's long bushy tail. Um, and this is what it looks like when it's young. This is the California ground squirrel and they have more of the brown kind of um, spotted back and striped tails. And um, the western gray squirrel is a tree squirrel. It nests in trees, whereas the California ground squirrel lives in holes and nests in the ground. Then um, the tiny crawlers, this is their book and an example. There's more than what I'm showing you now inside of the book, but it gives you an example. So this helps to show the difference between a millipede and a centipede and um, labels the different parts. So you might choose to include some of those details in your drawing. Then you're gonna get an index card and you're going to draw it in detail on a white index card. Now, if you are drawing an insect, the key thing about an insect is there are three body parts. There's a head, there's a thorax, and all of the wings and legs attached to the thorax. And then this is the abdomen where all of its organs are like its heart and its digestive system and things like that. So it's really easy if you draw them kind of like that, like pieces stacked on each other, head, thorax, and abdomen. And then you can really see clearly here the jointed legs. All insects have six legs. You don't necessarily have to be able to see all of the legs, but um, you should tell us um, in the information you're going to add here in a minute about that. So you're going to make sure you have your name, the creature's name up here, and then you're going to add three or more facts about the creature. So you want to have the um, creature's name so we know it matches the picture above because they're separate index cards. And then give us at least three facts. So this one is it's an invertebrate. It has no backbone. It's an insect. It has an exoskeleton, it lives underground, and it eats decaying roots. Once you've done that, do it again. Ask me for another creature, and we will choose um, one for you to complete. 
And then we need to keep going until we have done that for all of the living things that were in your cube.